And before starting the video, I recommend that you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. Let's go! Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we will talk about the updated Lincoln Navigator of the 5th generation. Sit back and we begin. The current 4th generation Lincoln Navigator has been produced since 2017. But this frame SUV has not yet been able to catch up in sales of its main competitor, the Cadillac Escalade. Restyling will probably lift the demand curve for the largest and most expensive Lincoln, but nothing more. The model lacks the status V8, which Ford, for some mysterious reason, does not want to put under the hood of the Navigator. The petrol 3.5 liter biturbo V6 engine lost power in the process of updating the SUV. Instead of the previous 456 horsepower, it now produced 446 horsepower, but the maximum torque has not changed, 691 Newton meters. This motor is paired with an uncontested 10-speed automatic. The corollary gear in the transfer case for all-wheel drive versions is only offered with the heavy-duty trailer tow package. The Navigator has a fully independent suspension with adaptive dampers, but now their characteristics are selected not in the reactive mode, but previously based on a picture from a camera that scans the road 500 times per second. The ground clearance is 244 to 246 mm, depending on the modification. For the first time a full-fledged level 2 autopilot according to the SAE classification is available for the navigator, which allows the driver to realize the steering wheel and pedals while driving. But at the same time, it is necessary to monitor the road all the time. The driver, in turn, is monitored by a cabin camera. And if he is not looking at the road, the autopilot is turned off. At Ford, this autopilot is called Active Drive Assist. And at the Lincolns, it was renamed Active Glide. It works only on tracks specially prepared for such systems in North America, USA and Canada. There are few cosmetic changes. Outside, these are new bumpers, new lighting technology, the tail lights have become noticeably narrower and a large chrome grille frame. Inside, there is a new sync for multimedia system with Alexa voice assistant and a wider 13.4 inch screen. It used to be 10 inch, which led to an extension of the central air ducts docked to it. The 12 inch digital instrument cluster can be complemented by a color head up display with updated graphics. The passengers in the second row now have their own 5.8 inch touch screen which is responsible for the microclimate and music. Luxury black label versions with natural wood finishes now offer more laser engraving design options. Among the functional new items, we note the improved massages in the front seats, while heating and ventilation are included in the base. Lincoln Navigator will continue to be offered with two wheel base, 3112 or 3343 mm. Overall length. 5,334 and 5,636 mm, respectively. Three rows of seats will be in any case. The volume of the trunk behind the third row is 546 and 971 liters, respectively. Long wheel base, all wheel drive navigator weighs 2.75 tons without options. The updated Lincoln Navigator will appear at American dealers early next year. Ilya Auto Club channel was with you until we meet again.